So I don't know if anybody gives a shit about what I think about these, but I figure why not? It's my second channel. Doing a reaction to Scream 2022. The reboot or the word they heavily press in this movie, requel. Get it? Requel? Because, yeah. I felt the same way about it. Um, so let me just break it down. There's plenty of other channels that I can go, go over other fine fucking detail. This movie was entertaining as hell. It wasn't scary, but a Scream movie to me has never been scary. Although there were a lot of people jumping. Like, there was a lot of jump scares that seemed to get other people except for me. Um, the scariest thing in the whole movie for me was Courtney Cox's face. I, honey, I mean, you must have taken all the fillers in L.A. There, I mean, there must be a shortage. I think there's panicked actresses running around right now saying, when, when, seriously, tell her to stop going to the clinic. She looks... I, I, like a court jester. I can't even describe it. Her face is distractingly bad. They should have superimposed a picture of her from 1996 over her the entire movie. Nev Campbell, you know, still looking confused. Still making a career out of it. We love her. Awesome, though. It was awesome to see everybody again. Dewey. He, daddy. Yummy. A silver fox. I said it. Yeah, I said it. Hot. Hot. Fucking just wanted to get in that ass. Just... Anyway, that's just... You know, I'm having fun. It's a joke. No, it's not. Anyways. Um, okay. Let's talk about the killers in the movie. Yes, there is more than one killer. I'm not going to spoil who the killers are. I did not see it coming. And they do a really good job of distracting you so much in this movie. There's fight scenes that there are so much violence and wall-to-wall -wall bloodshed and punches being thrown and furniture being broken. It is the craziest ending to any scream I've seen so far. I love little Jenna Ortega, and that's the only spoiler, but if you saw the trailer, you kind of know that, you know, something, something bad's going to happen to her. That's my only pet peeve about this, was they did such a good job keeping the trailer a mystery. Like, they really did throw you off on a lot of things. If you saw the trailer, you're not going to know what's really going on in this movie at all. It has not ruined anything for you. The rest of the trailer should take, you know, kind of a note from it. The only thing I will say is they did give away what could have been a really killer opening and a surprising opening if they hadn't have shown most of the thing, like the doors locking, unlocking, all that, the, her getting knocked down, we know something happens to her, obviously. Um, aside from that, it was just batshit crazy and actually kind of touching. I mean, uh, you know, again, small spoiler, but one of the main characters does pass away in the movie, uh, and it's actually rather touching, I think. And yeah, but aside from that, you know, the acting was good, although I will say the only thing I really had an issue with was the main character in this movie. The one they're trying to set up as the new Sydney. She's horrible. I would, I, I mean, she's equivalent to watching like paint dry or something like that. She's just the worst actress. I would have rather seen little like Jenna Ortega going around doing what she had to do. I mean, she could have taken over the mantle really easily, but they s decided to get somebody from the awful actress school. Okay, bitches, I'm doing a review. Talk about rude whores next. Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, Jenna Ortega, I really like. She was a great actress in this film. I was like, why is she not the main character? And in a way, she kind of sort of is, but like, yeah, they have made this other girl, like the main girl, and I guess she's going to be the one in all the sequels and shit. She's horrible. She's not interesting. You know, Nev Campbell, Drew Barrymore, not that she was the lead, but, uh, you know, other people have that it factor. That's something that makes you care about them. You know, Jamie Lee Curtis back in the Halloween days. This girl, I, I didn't care. It wouldn't have bothered me at all if she walked into oncoming traffic in the first, like, 10 minutes of the movie. I would have been like, great, we got rid of the bad actors, let's go. There are actually a couple of surprising deaths. Actually, the way they happened that I didn't see coming. Um... But I would say this is actually the best Scream movie since the original Scream. And I love these like, little critics that get on here because they have to be different from everybody else. You know, I know some people, not everybody's going to love the movie. But I saw like one douchebag walking out of the theater going, I mean, like, it's a Scream movie, but it's got problems and everything like that. Anybody who says that could not have made a better Scream film than this. Period. I'm putting it out there. You would have done a shit job. It would have been akin to taking a uh, fucking steaming shit with corn in it on a plate and you showing that. So, please spare me with the bullshit. You know, I mean, there's little nitpicky things I could do. The only thing that made me eh about the movie at certain points was it is cringy now, the whole meta dialogue. When they're whole like, oh, this is a requel, and we know what a requel is, and, you know, this is the part where the killer, like, okay, we get it. It's Scream. We know we have to do that. I think I could have done with a little bit less of it, but overall, holy fucking shit, what a great movie. And, yeah, so it gets a holy fucking shit, and go see it now. So I give it four big black dildos. Four out of 